Hi everybody, hope we're well okay today. Today I'm going to be doing a video on lips. Um, so this one I did record a few weeks ago, but sadly <laughs> when I came to edit it all the way through the video, I was like this, so you couldn't actually see me doing my lips. Um, it's really hard to get it when doing any makeup really, so that you guys can see what I am doing. And it's also like a comfortable level for myself to do um, I'm still getting used to it and um, so yeah I had to disregard it and we're doing it again today so uh, as you all know if you've seen any of my previous videos I mention it quite often I do have a scar on my lip and it's just on this side here so as you can see instead of going round like this one does this one comes straight down into the corner of my mouth it's from a dog bite from when I was really really tiny and um, I've got a couple of scars on my face from it as well but it's the lip one that is the most noticeable so when my lips are bare it's harder to pick up but if I went in just with lipstick it's then quite noticeable and um, I'll be honest it never bothered me um, until I'm not going to name them but a certain family member uh, decided that they were going to use that to poke fun at me they'd sit and get ready for me for a night out uh, with me for a night out and as soon as we got to the pub they'd tell me but I looked like I had a stroke because my lips were uneven and things like that just just horrible but um, <laughs> yeah it it affected me quite badly and now it's something i feel i need to cover up even though it never bothered me until that person started being nasty but the point of this video is showing you the lips i think the techniques can work even if you've not got the scar if you're just wanting to know some products that will stay on under a mask and things like that um it, this will help you out but also if you are wanting to help disguise a lip scar like I've got the, this will help you out as well I'm not at all saying that if you've got a lip scar or any scar that you need to cover it up I'm not at all you do what you want to do what makes you happy I'm, I'm just wanting to give some advice if there is someone like myself that's struggling with a certain person making things difficult or if you are just self-conscious yourself and um, I just want to offer some help so the products I'm going to be using today are the ones I found the best at staying in place and also affordable and not just on the scar they seem to last under a mask as well um now with scar covering it's a hard one because it's scar tissue it's a lot harder to cover um so you need something that's really hardcore <laughs> um i can't just go in with standard liners they, they just do not last um and because when you're covering a scar you are severely overdrawing that side of the lip to get it to the other I'm going to slightly overdraw my good side as well ever so slightly but on the the scar side we are going up quite a lot and when you overdraw you you run the risk of having the line uh, where it's paler where you've overdrawn it and I find these products don't leave that line quite as bad as others that I've tried so our first product I'm going to be using is the Catrice plumping lip liner looks like this and I have this one in cheers to life it's just a nice nude shade um, I've tried quite a few of these different shades they're all really good um, the things I've picked is just to do a nude lip I'm not saying that there's only these colors that will work um, so our next item is the Barry M Velvet Lipstick and this is in Bittersweet and again it's just a nude, very pretty. Okay. 
and our last one again is a Catrice and this is full satin nude lipstick in the shade full of boldness so I'm gonna ombre the lips slightly just to add a bit more depth that's why I've got the two nudes but to start we're gonna take the lip liner you want quite a sharp tip these are amazing because the, sh the end is actually a sharpener so that's great I've just used it so mine's messy please don't judge me <laughs> so I always start with the good side and then move it over because it's easier to copy so all I'm going to do is do this lip and ever so slightly overdraw it So as you get to the end, you don't want to overdraw that outer corner. So you bring from about this point, you want to bring it along your natural lip line. Unless of course it's your scar side. But yeah, on on your lips there, because otherwise you get the really like balloon lip, like the perfectly round lip and it's just not a natural shape I mean if that's what you're going for like fill your boots but if you want in it to look natural you need to bring it in towards the out outside corner so all we're going to do now is copy that on our scar side The scar side, no, um, for me anyway, always takes longer, so just take your time. So there we go, we've got it much fuller, much more even. So all I'm going to do now is fill in the outer corners. And again we're doing this up to the point where we start the overline. And the reason we do this is it adds depth to the outside which brings this middle part forward and it makes it look more full so on the line that I've already created I'm just gonna go just slightly under it and into it just to bring that lip liner just slightly lower down on both sides just like that and I find this helps to hide the obvious line to where the lip shade changes now on the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much do the same but we're going to cut out the very outside corner ever so slightly And then once I'm happy with that, so as you can see, I just come slightly inside my natural line. I'm going to take a tiny bit of concealer left over from when I did the rest of my makeup. And I'm just going to gently 
block out that line of where the natural lip would have been. So again, this just adds to the illusion that the lip is fuller because we've took it thinner at the sides. With that as well, it sometimes if you follow the natural bottom lip all the way, it can give almost a downturned look on the mouth and it just takes that out and gives more of a natural like smile line rather than a frown. So now I'm happy with the sketch of the lip liner. I'm going to start with the lipsticks. I can always come back to the lip liner if I need to. Once the lipstick's on, it shows more up and sometimes I do need to go back in. Um, so we'll just see. I'm going to go in with the Catrice one first. This is the darker shade. And I'm just going to go right up to that lip line that we've put in. So that's the first coat on. So we are going to, I know a lot will find this quite old fashioned, uh, but I always blot my lipstick, especially if I'm using a mask. I just find it helps things stay back in place. So I'm just going to blot it. And then we're going to go in with one more coat just to make doubly sure it's all going to stay in place. So apologies if the candle, uh, camera angle has changed there, I just had the postman. So once your second coat is back on, we're just going to do exactly the same again and blot it. Then once we're happy, we are then going to move into the lighter shade. And we're going to concentrate this into the, the middle. So we're not going to go up to the, the lip line and we're not going to go past the very middle section so we're going to keep this quite in like a little circle like that and again this just adds a bit of depth because anything you make lighter brings that forward so by making the middle bits lighter, you're making them appear bigger. And once again, we just blot it. So there's my completed look for the lips. You could go ahead and add a bit of gloss. I would be careful going right up to the lip line with your gloss if you have overlined, just because it can make that line a bit more exaggerated. So if you are going to do it, I would just pat a little bit into the middle rub your lips together you're good to go um but i'm not going to do gloss today because i am going to be wearing a mask later on so as always a thank you for joining me today and please let me know down below what you think especially if you tried these techniques let me know how they worked out for you thanks for joining me bye